Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to safely store passwords on your computer. That way you don't have a bunch of little slips lying around, sticky notes with username and passwords. You don't have to make the same password for every single account you have, which is a terrible thing to do. And you don't have to have them on a Word document or an Excel document that's sitting on your computer, which might be the worst thing of all, um, especially if it's unlocked or unprotected. Um, you can protect Word documents and Office documents, but this is just a little bit more streamlined, a lot more organized, and just a little bit better of a user experience. And so let's jump to the screen recording. And this program is called PWSafe or Password Safe. And this is for PC, Windows 7 and later, but uh, there are actually other clone versions made by other people taking the code from this program. So there is a version uh, for Android called PassWD Safe. And then there is a version for Mac and iOS, uh, which is PWSafe. And you can see the link pwsafe.info for Mac and iOS. Play Store is PassWDSafe. Uh, but the one we're looking at today is pwsafe.org. Um, maybe we'll get into those other ones in a different video, but this is what I'm focusing on, at least in this video. And so basically what this is, is a software you can use to store all of your passwords and you can use a master password to access all of your passwords. You can also do two-factor authentication with a YubiKey. Um, I don't have that set up on mine. I just have it set up with just a regular master password and then it opens up. And so if you go to pwsafe.org, you can go down here where it says download and then you can download from that link. Um, and then there's a couple other things here you can read about it, the security, how it works, um, two-factor authentication. Um, and this is recommended to me about two years ago and I've been using it ever since. It's a great software, never had any troubles with it. Um, and as long as you have a good secure password, only one you have to memorize, your master password, then all of your other passwords should be safe. And so once you download the program, you're going to want to run it, install it, use all the default settings, choose where you want to save it. I have mine saved in my Dropbox because there's no native syncing feature with this program. That way, if I want to access it on my laptop or on my desktop, I can. You just have to make sure you're saving out of it on one computer before you try to edit it on another one or it's not going to work. And so um, it's pretty easy and straightforward. You can click new to add a new save wherever you want to save it. Um, and I have a pretty easy password just for video purposes for this one. And so this is the interface. It's not the most modern or clean thing you're ever going to see, but it works. Um, so you can close, save, new database um, through here, and then you can add entries. So we're going to click add new entry and then a group. So let's make a group finances or something like that. Title, bank, username, wiser, user, password is password. This is not a real account for me, by the way. Um, and then you can use to sh either show the password and it'll show you right here or it'll block it out for some reason for the second one or you can have it generate a password for you that is random uses a bunch of random characters um, and you can use that and so here you can also put a URL so if I wanted to um, go directly from the website from here that's great you can also put an email in there if you want notes here are some notes I cannot spell some notes I'm gonna hit let's just uh, Sure, whatever, that's a great password. Hit OK. And then you can see we have a category here of finances. And so if I want to add another one, I can add it to the finances group or I can choose, I don't know, customers. Say you're using one, this is like your business safe so you can have different categories. You guys get the idea. You can have multiple um, categories, multiple entries. And so how you access the password is you can double click on this and it'll say at the bottom here, the password was copied. If you minimize this and try to paste it into another window, it's not gonna work. You have to leave the program up and open. And so how you do it is just open up whatever your window you wanna paste it in, and then paste, there it is. That's simple. Go down here, bank, copied. It gives you the exact uh, down to the second, just in case you're not sure if you copied it or not. Open this back up, there it is. So if I would go here and copy, minimize this and then open it up and try to paste doesn't work i'm guessing that's like a security feature of it i'm not a hundred percent sure but i'm just going to go with it that it's uh, that's what it is so you can also get the password by right clicking on here uh, copy password to clipboard copy username um, you can view edit the entry rename it um, a lot of different stuff here so if you need to go back in you can see your notes um, that's not the one i have notes on 
Uh, dun, 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 dun. You can also copy the notes to the clipboard if there are notes. And it's pretty much self-explanatory, really easy. Uh, if you want to go to the shortcut or copy the URL or browse to URL. So if I want to browse to, URL, to the URL, it automatically opens it up in a new tab. So if you just want to log into this program, right click, go to your banking, and there it is. And so it's very easy, very straightforward, and it's a lot more organized than having an old password book or a word file or anything like that. Uh, a nice feature about this app is that after a few minutes, like if you click away and you start doing stuff in the background, um, it will automatically lock the safe. That way you have to re-enter your password to log back in. If you go down into your system tray and you see an icon that's red, that means it's unlocked and it can be opened up um, and viewed passwords. So if I close it, it's still going to show as unlocked. Do I have to exit? Close. So there, there's no, um, there's no database here, no safe. You can open one up from here or just exit out of that. If I go down to the system tray, it's black, meaning that, you know, there's nothing open right now. Uh, if you let it go, if you're logged in and you let it go and it automatically locks, that icon will be green, showing you that your database is open, but it's locked so people can't get to it. And so that's pretty much uh, PW safe or a password safe. Like I said, there are Android versions and Mac and iOS, which is copied from the base code of this program. Um, I haven't tried the Mac and iOS version. I have tried the Android one, um, but I might make a separate video on that because it's a little more complicated to set up syncing with your Dropbox. But I would highly recommend that you check this program out if you need to get your passwords organized because it's not good to have them sitting all over the table or having the same password for a million different things like I have in the past. Um, this way you only have to memorize one complicated password and then you can easily go in and access all of your passwords for your different websites, subscription services, banking, all that good stuff. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe for more videos from me. Let me know if it helped you out down in the comment section below and what you use if you don't use this to manage all your passwords. And please do not say just a random word file on your computer or even worse like Google Drive or something like that where somebody could get access to. Um, but that's gonna be it. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social links are down in the description below. And again, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.